Hi, my name is Jan. I'm a military veteran who runs a nonprofit organization headquartered west of Houston, Texas, that facilitates mental, emotional, and spiritual well being for veterans, law enforcement, first responders, and families. To learn more about the Xena Project, visit the Xena Project, the X E N A Project.org. I'm here today and absolutely terrified to be here, in all honesty, um, because earlier this year I wrote a book about the ministry that I founded. It's called Show Me the Light, Personal Ministry One Decision at a Time, and I'll put a link down in the description. Um, that book is currently being used in Bible studies, small group gatherings, and for personal study across the country, which is shocking and amazing and all the really good things. Um, what I was most surprised by, however, was that I started getting requests uh, to talk to people about the Bible. This is a surprise because I'm just a person. I've had a lot of adventures in a lot of really fantastic places on this earth. I've been blessed by a wonderful family and a beautiful daughter, um, but I'm not ordained. I don't have graduate degrees. I, there's nothing about me that's particularly unique or worthy of talking to you about the Bible, except that I've been asked to, and when I pray on it, God says I should. So here I am, YouTube. <laughs> Thanks for having me, free internet. Um, I'm at a complete loss for what to say, and so we're going to start with the basics. Um, in a minute, we're going to say the Lord's Prayer together. But first, if you're new to the Bible, and you, maybe you've heard of the Lord's Prayer, but maybe you've never actually looked it up, uh, you can find it in both Matthew and Luke. And it's a good place to start. It's as good a place as any. Um, Jesus is the one who gave us the words to the Lord's Prayer. And so if you want to talk about going straight to the source, this prayer definitely does it. So without further ado, please join me in prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. In the middle of that prayer, uh, you may hear some banging as, as my ear picked up. That is the storm shutters outside of my office window. Um, we are sitting here in my office. This is where I wrote my first book and my second book, which is due out shortly, and my third book, which is due out shortly. This is likely where I'll write books for some time to come. So I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you could join me. I have no idea what the future holds, except that when I meditate on my New Year's resolutions as we head into 2020, which you likely are too, um, you know, I've asked God to give me a word. I, I really appreciate it when God gives me a word because then in the middle of the year, when things start to get crazy, when we're moving away from whatever it is that we intended to do at the beginning, coming back to that single word is extremely powerful and effective. It works for me. Um, so the word that he's given me midway through December, not even January yet, is to preach. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I hope that you continue to join me here. And if you need or wish for prayer on a particular topic, please leave a comment, send me a note, uh, visit the Xena Project's web website, or visit the website for my books where you can reach me directly. That is Before You Now, B-E-F-O-R-E, Y-O-U-N-O-W dot com. There's going to be a lot of new content coming because I'm going to step out on faith on this word, preach. And I'm hoping and praying that whatever you hear for 2020, you step out on it as well. If I can film a video in my office with a banging shutter and put it on the internet, you can do whatever he's asking you to do. So let's walk together. Until next time, I hope you have a happy day.